in sync. Dell and Dirk, and we've got some some straight on pomegranate juice. Is that what the brand is? Or no, it's just just straight up. I think it's that P O M. Palm. I think so. Got a distinctive bottle. Yeah, it's like hourglass shaped yeah. a little bit, but like a chubbier hourglass. But that's fine. You try it if you want. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've never, I mean, I, I don't have experience with this before, but I, I, I know you have some experience with this, though. This is 100% pomegranate juice, and it's anti-oxygen, <laughs> an, antioxidant. It's a powerhouse. So it is healthy it's, for you. Is it tart? Yeah, it's pretty tart. It's not bad, but... Hmm. The aftertaste is like... Strong. I mean, I would. I don't know. I would. I wouldn't really call it strong. And it's not bad. It's just the aftertaste. It gets like really tart. But have you ever eaten like pomegranate seeds? Mm mm. Does it burn in your throat? No, it doesn't burn. That's good. You got that going for you. Yeah, that is true. It's just. It's just tart. Del, how are you feeling? Well, this is the one product that I know. Um, I occasionally drink it, and, and um, so it's no surprises to me. I really like it. And where I'm sipping the kombucha, this stuff I can go. And I don't have problems with it. I mean, I would give this probably like a six. A six out of ten. It's good flavor, but the aftertaste—it's just, it's just not for me. Del, what would you rate this? I don't normally give numbers, but I'd put it right up there. I don't, I don't have any problems with this. This has got some kind of health thing about it. I can't remember if it's prostate health or whatever it is, but that's what first attracted me to it. And uh, the taste is a little bit different, but you can get used to it. Hopefully I'll get used to it. And there's probably no law that says that you can't water it down if it's too, too over tasty. Yeah, so, something like that. Yeah, or mix it up with, say, apple juice or something like that. Yeah, overall, I would give this a 6 out of 10. Qu quality product, but just not for me. Or maybe even mix it up with some kombucha, and then you really get a pow. Should we try that now? Give it a whirl. Let's see. So where's our kombucha? We have that big bottle. Come here, cup. There it is. Oh shit! Right. I'll put on the bottom so the table doesn't break. Yeah, I'll let you do the honors. You can oh. do the pouring. Okay. This will be a first. Yeah. Right it's here on our channel. I think there's people in the world that do this. Mixing I, up Pink pomegranate Lady. with kombucha. I think that's equal parts. So this is Pink Lady Apple. Yeah, Pink. And it's the apple pom pomegranate. Uh, apple uh, kombucha with the pom straight up pomegranate. Let's slow it around a little bit. I need more pomegranate. Here, try it with the raspberries. What the fuck? <laughs> I just put raspberries in there? Yeah, just a couple. I need some more pomegranate juice. Alright, that should be good. Nah, yeah, put a little more. Alright. I, th I think this is the one, though. Alright. So this is the first world premiere. Next thing, uh, kombucha. The apple kombucha with uh, pom full straight on pomegranate. And we got raspberries in there. Uh, how many should I put in here, Dell? How many would you say? I don't know. Try at least a couple. Alright, I'll put three in here. I just kind of have them soak in here yeah. for a little bit. Put three in there. That one has like a seed in it. Let's roll them around. That's not a bad combo. Not a bad combo. I try to find the ratio where the flavors kind of blend together, and this, and I think this is the best I'm gonna get. Where 
I get the sweetness of the Pink Lady Apple, but then also the tartness of the pomegranate juice. It's a pretty good contrast. It's definitely unique. Yeah, you get like the Pink Lady taste, but then the bitter tart like aftertaste. Let's try a raspberry right here. That's actually pretty good. It's like a carbonated raspberry. So could you articulate on what you think the raspberries are adding? Um, the ra like as of right now, the raspberries aren't adding anything because okay. they're just sitting in here. So basically, we've got the sweetness and the tartness. The tartness of the of the uh, pomegranate and and the sweetness of the kombucha. Exactly. And the raspberries are just for show. Yeah. But if you eat the raspberry, it's like a carbonated raspberry. Carbonated raspberry. Because yeah. of the kombucha. That's what they add. A little and bit of added attraction. So maybe we're on to something. I was like, carbonated fruit it, it is a pretty big thing. And I'm, I'm really liking the carbonated fruit. So right here on the Dell's Do It Yourself channel, something new. Something uh, new and exciting. Might want to try some straight on 100% pomegranate juice and uh, and uh, some kombucha. Yeah. Specifically, what we're doing here is the pink lady, the pink apple kombucha flavor, and then a couple of raspberries from I did that before. The dress mm -hmm. goes raspberries. Yeah, it's from the local grocery store, but the kombucha definitely enhances the pomegranate juice by quite a bit because it just adds sweetness. Yeah. And then also like the rat, like having raspberries in here, it's really good because it's like carbonated fruit. So, so we've been doing food evals, and now we got something exciting and new got, to wash it down with. We got science. That's yeah. What we have. There it is. But yeah, these are my thoughts on it. Del, do you want to give it a taste? No. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm perfectly willing to experience my thrills vicariously. There but um, go. yeah, I I don't see a problem with mixing them, mixing pomegranate with the kombucha. Yeah, I would. I'm give getting it. used to kombucha a little bit from from you know trying it a couple of times today. There you go. But yeah, overall, I would give this concoction about a seven and a half. There we go. A seven yeah. and a half. Stuff makes it better. Of course. Yeah, those are my thoughts.